All right, I apologize for what's probably going to be crappy audio and the squeaking of my chair, but this is the long version, not just a performance. You will hear birds. Sorry. Um, let's start off with just a basic drum pattern. Um, so the Pico drums from Erica Synths uh, is really easy to use with the Eloquencer. So let's just go ahead and get two channels. Oops, I even plugged it into the wrong thing. Uh, let's get two channels going. So uh, by default, the Pico drums resets, I guess, every time you power it on. So that's a thing, but um, this is pretty easy to, uh, to test out. Let me adjust this. So we'll start just by editing the gate. We'll just do a four on the floor. Cool. Let's uh, find ourselves a longer cable. Uh, just off screen, I just have a small uh, mixer. There we go. That's pretty good. So the second track here, we usually want to be, I don't know, a snare or something. I only have two tracks because that's all the Pico drums can do, but you know, uh, you could get another one to get some hi-hats or something in there, but I'm just gonna do like typical class. Time for the random CV features or random uh, random gate probability features. Um, I don't want this one all the time. Let's see here. I just want it some percentage of the time. It's interesting. I'm not sure why that's skipping the next time, but I still have a lot to learn about this. Um, Let's see if we can get a little bit of bass going. Um, so I've been enjoying both the 2HP VCO and the plates for bass sounds. It's a weird feature here. I've noticed the Eloquencer uh, will not play nicely with plates uh, on the level in because the Eloquencer seems to have like 0.07 volts out on gate low instead of zero volts. Um, so I'm not sure if I need to find something that will do offsets for me to correct that or if there's a way to fix it in the Eloquencer. I'm not sure, um, but I will... Uh, uh, I've already messaged them, so we'll see what they can do for me. So um, I'll do it as trig for now and just use the envelope built into to plates. Um, let's try something like this.
tried just randomizing the CVs on that. Um, we will, let's see, what scale are we starting with? Um, how about we just do a C major? That's easy enough. Um, and now what I can do is funk random um, and select only C and we only want CV. Um, so let's go ahead and just randomize the CV. Like that. Is that working? No. Oh, you know what really helps? Having the CV out plugged in. Now we'll get the 2HP set up. So the flow there for the uninitiated is my VCO, the oscillator. Um, I'm picking the triangle wave, or sorry, the saw wave here, um, is going into my filter, which is then going out to my VCA, which has CV input controlled by the ASDR um, of uh, that comes from the gate here. So um, that's just our envelope generator to make things a little bit nicer. Um, and then just need that. And the output. Let's see if that works. Nice feature of this is you can free play using the keyboard. Okay, that part is working. Something in my path is messed up here. I'm just gonna try plugging in directly to something. Okay, that much works. Let's try the output of the filter. Well, that's no good. Oh, that's not the output, that's why. That'll do it. So, that's miraculous. They are in tune with each other. Or close enough, anyway. Let's uh, follow the random kick here and we'll see what we can uh, what we can get if we give this some random CV and gates.
it's kind of fun. Sort of lucky run a uh, random draw there. Um, now I'm actually going to use the Eloquencer as a source of modulation as well. So uh, I'm going to modulate my filter on the plinky guy there. Um, so that's this one. So I can go to function LFO and say, hey, I want E to be an LFO. And that's going to be a triangle. And we're going to do, well, sure, we'll do a full pattern. Um, I should probably be paying attention to what the input tolerances and ranges on these are, but um, I know I've done this without damaging it, so we'll see. But uh, let's... So there you can see we have over four patterns, so these 16 step patterns, um, we have it coming in and out in a triangle. So having gate synchronized uh, LFOs, or rather sequencer synchronized LFOs can, uh, can be a nice effect, I guess. this guy now uh, with the plates um, we're gonna switch up which ah, we have a lot of options for what we could modulate here so um, let's go ahead and start with making this an LFO track F LFO on we'll do it as a triangle again and we'll do it as two pattern Let's uh, let's go ahead and like mess with the timbre on this one. Thank you. 
So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get some fun little patterns going, even just using the random functions or, you know, you can plank it out too. It does allow you to, uh, to sort of record using these buttons as a keyboard that fits within the, the scale. Um, so overall, it's, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, I'll, uh, I'll play around a little bit more with this, but that's all I really wanted to show today. find our mute button here still learning the the interface so it's a little bit clunky but you know